Good morning, Hazlitt residents, Meridian Township. I'm gonna bring you a little small sound bite. A couple months ago, I did the Meridian Talks Development Hazlitt series, which includes information about development happening in our region. Something that has been a question that I've answered three times in the last eight hours, so I just wanna bring it to you for the first morning cup of coffee that you got in your hand, is the Hazlitt Marathon development that's happening behind me. A million dollar investment in our community that's happened in the less than six months, getting the buildings down and the footings in. So you will see, and as so, so much discussion on Facebook and social media has um, elevated the conversation of why the building is so close to the right of way and into the road. If you remember in our community, unfortunately, there was a fatality earlier this year, and there's been a public outcry for walkability and increased traffic safety. In order to do so, road departments do not arbitrarily set speed limits. We as a society and as vehicular travelers have to slow down in order for the road departments to establish a safer speed limit. We have youth, we have pedestrians, we have varying mobile ability of everybody who comes through this intersection of Hazlitt and Marsh Road. Reducing the sight lines for vehicular travelers encourages them to slow down. If they slow down, the intersection is safer for everybody, including those travelers, and we can still have efficient travel. As I said, it's a million dollars with 300,000 in Brownfield contributed from Meridian Township. The building will essentially encompass the same elements, still having the automobile um, and mechanical elements that will allow you to get your uh, vehicle serviced, as well as having the pumps in the back, which are closer to Blondie's, instead of up front, closer to the road. It'll make it more efficient for people to get in and out and service for their vehicle. And, increases the walkability of the general region. Now, anybody can be serviced at this convenience station, whether they need to get gas or not. I really encourage you all to look into the elements of what creates a better walkable community and why most of those developments, as you see in urban and suburban uh, environments, are pulling those buildings up to the road. They are increasing the windows and making sure that you can see through so that it's a safe building, but it's also encouraging us to take a look at what we are doing as travelers and how we can all be in the same space, whether you're walking, biking, or you're using wheels to get where you need to go. If you have any more questions about the development, I can be reached at clark at meridian.mi.us.